What is up guys, in today's video we got a brand new Fortnite update. This update is going to be on the smaller side of things because we have another major update next week, but we still got three weapons added to the game and a few map changes for this week, so there definitely is some changes coming to the game. If you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful and informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more, comment down below which weapon you're most excited to see return in this update, and if you guys want to watch me live stream on Twitch, it'll be linked down in the description below. I stream pretty much every day. So the first thing that got unvaulted in this update, or the first thing that we're going to go over, is going to be the hunting rifle. This is something that I know a lot of people have been asking for especially for the zero build mode It seems like a lot of people want this gun because you can kind of like peek and do a lot of damage in a single shot And you don't really have to commit to sniping as much. It doesn't have a scope It's basically a scopeless sniper it hits a little bit weaker It's a little harder to use because of the lack of the scope But once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to pop in and out of cover and hit shots with this gun it's something that I I haven't really used that much in the past, but there were definitely some seasons or some periods in time in Fortnite where I was like really liking this gun and using it a bunch. So it's nice to see it return. I feel like it's a decently high skill weapon, but with the nerfs that they've made to snipers in chapter three, it's no longer going to hit for 200 to the head. So even if you hit a headshot, it's not going to be able to guarantee a one hit kill. But I still think this will be a weapon that a lot of people like to have. It's something that like appeals to so many different types of players. Like it, it's decently effective. So people who just want to get kills and wins like it, it's something that trick shotters really like. And it's just a really fun and satisfying weapon to use. So it's nice that the hunting rifle has been unvaulted as a part of this update. The next weapon that was unvaulted kind of fits the same boat and that's going to be the flint knock pistol. If you guys are new to the game and you've never used this weapon before, it's a pirate pistol essentially that hits really hard in one shot. I think it's like 90 body damage, but it also sends you backwards when you shoot it. Or if you shoot it straight at the ground, it'll send you upward. Similar to the dub exotic shotgun that a lot of people have been liking. I've seen a lot of people talk about how good this weapon is in the zero build mode, but I never really cared about it because I think it's just a bad gun. I don't really care that much about the movement effect of it. But the flint knock kind of combines both of those things where you get a good weapon and you can also use the mobility aspect of it. Once again, it's another weapon that pretty much every type of player can enjoy. If you're someone who just wants to get kills and get wins, it's an effective gun. So it fits that category. It's something that trick shotters really like. And it's something that's also just really satisfying and fun to use. It's a weapon that you can do a lot of like creative plays with. If you do shoot this gun and you don't want to get sent flying backwards, you can crouch. So if you're crouched when you shoot this, you won't go anywhere. But it is a decent gun. It hits decently hard to the body. Like almost 100 damage. I don't know what the headshot damage on it will be because it's probably changed. But it'll hit like high to mid 100s, like 150 plus potentially to the head. If you combine this with a shotgun, like you could just downright kill somebody extremely fast. But you have to hit both of your shots with this flint knock and the shotgun. So it is a decently high skill weapon and you do have to like play around the fact that it launches you backwards when you're using it but that can also be something that enables you to make really creative plays so it's nice to see the flint knock return seems like towards the end of almost every season the flint knock ends up coming back um, and we are nearing the end of this season and then the final item that was unvaulted as a part of this update was the airstrike i have no idea why they unvaulted this i'll have the trailer for this item playing on screen right now but it's essentially a grenade that you throw and then it like marks an area where a bunch of bombs fall onto it. it sounds really annoying but i don't remember ever interacting with this item ever in my life i don't know if it was just something that people didn't really use or it's just terrible but this was added in season nine and i played a lot that season but i have pretty much no memory of this item at all it'll be interesting to see how this plays out in the zero build mode part of why i don't remember it at all is probably because I would just build to protect myself from it but it'll be interesting to see how this plays out it could end up being really good against tanks or mountaintops blimps whatever speaking of blimps the final blimp that was in tilted towers should have crashed into the water with this update so it's not going to destroy tilted completely obviously tilted was already in ruins but the blimp is crashing in the lake next to it and now the only final blimp remaining is going to be the blimp in command cavern and this likely will not be destroyed until the end of the season or the end of season update I assume that's where Huntmaster Sable will go after this update and you can now go to command to get the mythic thermal assault rifle if that's something that you're really interested in. But I could be wrong on that. That's just what I'm assuming would happen because he's migrated from blimp to blimp and the command blimp should be the only one remaining. But that's going to be it for today's video. Simple update. We just got three new items and the tilted blimp crashing. If you guys enjoyed this, like I said before, give it a like, subscribe, comment down below which item you're most excited to use in game and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. We have six opponents still. That's actually kind of crazy because this zone is like really small.
Sounds like there was fighting at the Blem. And there will likely be some people that want to come this way. For this crown. We have a really good spot though. We're center zone and we have our pad already placed here. And I still have four extra pads and three shockwaves. So we're so good on mobility. If I use this one though, I'll probably want to ramp it. That way we short pad. Like if zone ends up going there, I'll like ramp it. And then we can short pad there. And we'll be less likely to get fried. Do both but prefer no builds? Nice. Yeah, I play both as well. It just depends. Like I usually play normals first and then no build after. Like I like having both modes as an option. And I feel like... I kind of like either mode for like different reasons, you know? So I, I really like that they're both there. It's good to play one when like the other game mode gets boring or something. And obviously the no build mode is like more easily accessible for new players, which is nice. Because, like, the building and editing stuff is, like, really complicated. Which is what I like about it. But for new people, obviously, that can be, like, a... Like, demotivating to get into. Gold auto. What? The man in that bush protecting this other guy. And we got zone, which is kind of bad. I would have preferred to rotate. I mean, it's good that we have zone somewhat, but like... Now everybody's just going to focus me, I feel like. That's one of my favorite things to do with the AUG though. Just get like multiple walls weak. And then start spraying through and get damage on them typically. It didn't work on this guy, but it worked on the other guy. All right, they're fighting now. They got the kill really quick though. Dead. That's good. Now we don't have to worry about that angle as much. Everybody else should be on this side. Never mind. Somebody here. I just messed up. Oh dang, I was hoping he'd hit the pad. One V one. That guy just fried me, dude. We hit him hard though. This is unfortunate.
Nice. 